Hi, Roger. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> So, um, is this your first time in Korea? It is. Um, this is the very first time I've been here, and I really, really love it here. It's, uh, I felt pretty at home right away, which surprised me considering I don't speak the language. Well, well you sounded pretty good at it. Uh, maybe one or two words. Oh, okay. So, um, so now let's talk about Engine Coin. So, first of all, why don't you tell our viewers of your company? Okay. Do you want to talk about the product or the company first? The company first. Okay, um, Engine has been around for about uh, about ten years. We've been doing. Uh, we make the world's largest social media community for gaming. Ten and years. That's a yeah, long it's history. a long time. And there's about uh, twenty million subscribers and users. Wow. It's it's huge, and about uh, two hundred fifty thousand communities that uh, do things like uh, Minecraft, World of Warcraft, GTA. I should slow down. A All the good bit. games. Yes on this sort of social media platform. Mm -hmm. And over the years, uh, they added a store component. Okay. So people started to trade and sell and buy uh, millions of dollars of virtual goods through Engine. Mm -hmm. So about a year ago, the founders had a pretty clever idea, which was, hey, we could roll out this same thing to, to console games, to AAA games, um, and to mobile games. Okay. That's a little bit of the background. I see. So speaking of 25 million communities, why don't you brag about 20 your... 20 million. 20 million. 20 million communities. Why don't you brag about your team to our viewers then? Okay. Um, well, our CEO is uh, Maxim Vlagov. Um, he is one of the founders. Okay. Right? There's three founders, basically. So there's Maxim, there's Lilia, our COO, and there's Vitek, our CTO. So these are the guys that, that have kind of birthed the company from the beginning uh -huh. and brought it through those 10 years. Uh, over the over that time, the team grew about a year ago, and this is when it started to hit the uh, AAA game market. They brought myself and our uh, vice president of engineering, mm -hmm. Pat Labine, um, into the company, and uh, we went whole hog with the sort of game business. Both both Pat and I are longtime game developers, oh. so we bring I bring two plus decades of experience, essentially of what our clients are going to want from mm -hmm. us to the team. Yeah, I see. So. You guys get along each other. Yeah, actually, yeah. really lovely okay. team. In games, there can be often a lot of politics. Uh huh. And the one reason that I took this job and I'm staying with it is because our team is uh, just great loyalty, lovely people, not a lot of politics. Oh, I see. Getting a lot done. So the coin went to ICO in 2017 last year in July. Well, the cryptocurrency, it's still a lot of things were going on because uh, it just started. So, what's your ultimate goal in this cryptocurrency ecosystem? Mm. Uh, here's where I would like to touch on the product a I'll little bit, sure if thing. you don't mind. Um, so Please do so. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you all know, there's uh, many, many ICOs out there. And sometimes, some of them are really great, but often, sometimes it's just a money yeah. raise without a product, right? Our team has always been about product. And so in a way, you could say we did the ICO to make the product yeah. happen even further. Um, and what that product is, is... Um, basically a way to allow game developers to create virtual game objects but kind of make them real. Mm. Many video games have uh, all kinds of tradable, collectible, purchasable objects, but in a way they're not a real commodity, right? Yeah. Away goes the game, away goes your goodies, right? Indeed. And so uh, using a, a, you could say a, a tool and a system we've made for game developers, uh, game studios far and wide will be able to now turn these things into things that have real world value. Um, I don't know if you saw Ready Player One. Did you see that movie? Oh, well, I know about it, but... but you should see it. Okay. So they, we'll show, they show some unusual things that are kind of seen as science fiction for the game business. Oh, um, I'm going to go to my friend and ask him to, I'll give you 20 bucks if you make this thing for me. Or, oh, you know, I've, I have this very rare, valuable thing. Um, I'm kind of a, a competitive person. Now I'm going to try to get the top dollar and sell it to you in the real world. Our tools allow game studios to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. And... Um, do you mind if I continue? Please Just a little so. nugget more. No, 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 I love it. Okay, it. okay. Yeah. So, even though I've been a game dev for 25 years, I cannot fathom this number. Mm. Games now sell, the, the gross revenue for the game industry worldwide is $120 billion a year. That's a and, huge number. And 
I, I mean, it still staggers me. And something like 60 to 70 billion is virtual trading. Yeah. So in a way, you could say we've kind of figured out how to make a computer game glass. Okay. And you're like, that's my real glass. It's, okay. it's made of crystal. It's, it's worth money. And get all the things that you would say, see with uh, automobiles or mm. other kind of real world commodities. Yeah. It's, it blows my mind. So that's, that's why I ended up doing this, because it's, it's really a fascinating on the edge thing. OK. Yeah. So, so, so then what would be the goal, ultimate goal, in this ecosystem, uh, the cryptocurrency ecosystem of the engine coin? I think we're, we're looking for, um, we're expecting, actually, uh, there's lots of game, really great game devs yeah. here in Seoul, right? There's lots of great game devs where I live. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for them to, we're releasing all of these tools for mm -hmm. free. There's no charge for them. Wow. And essentially, the way that works mm -hmm. is um, we've built it into all the standard game engines, kind of. It's going to be released in about a month. Mm -hmm. The first one will be for the Unity game engine. Mm -hmm. Soon to come will be Unreal and some other game engines, Minecraft, so on. Anyhow, uh, the way this works is you might think of it as like a, a new kind of uh, oil, oil well or something. <laughs> that you, you're going to give all these companies that make trucks a free oil well, right? Yeah. And then they can make gas and make the trucks go. Right. So in a way, our stuff works like that for game developers. Uh, if you want a little bit of a more financial sure, technical please. view, the, the, the digital coin, the crypto coin, gets locked up into the game assets, right? And as they get circulated and traded, yeah. just like if we're buying and selling yeah. oil or whatever, the value of that goes mm -hmm. up. So it's very good for our investors, which is an important community. But it's also good for game studios, game developers. And it's also good for the people who play games. Mm. So um, that kid who makes a, a 500 bucks on the weekend because he can play electric guitar and YouTube and teaches you how, well, now he can make you something in a game and help his friends and make some extra cash or all kinds of unusual uh, economic things. Oh, I see. So, Roger, mm. as you already know, it's a game industry huge in Korea. So, Engine Team uh, has a certain view on this Korean game industry market. So, if you have uh, any plans that if you can tell, um, any plans to cooperate with uh, Korean game companies? Yeah, I, I can say a lot about that, okay. actually. Um, I would say one of the things that I want to hats off to our, our management team, Maxim, Lilia, and VTech, mm -hmm. is that they have a very peculiar genius with finding the right people. I actually don't know how they do it. But it's one thing that's kind of magical about our company. It's attracting a lot of really um, exceptional individuals. And so uh, originally, I was only supposed to be in Korea for about a week. OK, I came here for the Unite trade show. But I know that our C team started to set something going on here. And pretty quickly, we brought on a, a team. I'm not going to give any names today, but there's a full-time Korean team Comprised of Koreans, okay. com for Koreans <laughs> in Korea, you know. Uh, I think I, it's nice because I think I'm going to get a working vacation here all the time. But um, we really, we really like the the Korean market. Um, personally, I like the loyalty and, mm -hmm. and respect of the Korean people, and I think that the people I work for like it too. That's a we like those long term relationships, and I think I can say it on TV. Korean game devs are kick ass. So so. Uh, uh, there are some people from very high places within the Korean wow. game industry that have worked at some big of the major Korean game companies, and also people that are within the deep in the financial sector here in Korea. So um, there is a full-time team formed up. I expect to be announcing soon, soon the details. Hopefully, but yeah, and I think I'll be back soon. Oh, I'm going to be here actually. Can't wait. So what ter what started out as a week turned into <laughs> three, and here I am. Yeah, I see. Okay, can't wait. So well, there are two industries are huge in Korea. The first is the game industry, mm. second, cryptocurrency. So, well, since Korea is huge in cryptocurrencies, a lot of coins such as Tron, EOS, Stimit, they are like trying their hard on going marketing in Korea. So, mm. if you have any specific uh, specific like marketing strategies aiming in Korea. This is, interestingly enough, actually the Korean investors that are backing us ask me this uh, and I asked them the question back. We're game developers, right? We have a right. pretty strong management team, but we, we look like game developers, right? And so uh, when I asked the investors, hey, do I need to, you know, I mean, I do look good in a suit, but do I need to show up more in a suit and tie? Do I need to, do we need, do you do need to see a more conventional, conservative mm -hmm. presence in a way? They said, no. So many of the things we invest in just raised money for something that they didn't, they don't even have a team to make. 
Not everybody, but it's often the case. And you guys have a 30-person team that's been working on this for a year. You use the money for that. Mm. The product's coming out. Actually, we'd rather we'd rather see that than anything else. Yeah. So, yeah. That said, I think that uh, a more typical marketing uh, effort will also be being made. It's important as well. So that would be it. So if you have any comments that you want to leave to our Korean viewers. Um, thank you so much for being welcoming to me, Korean people here. Uh, it's been wonderful. Actually, if you saw where I was staying above Aww. one of the old temples, you'd like it too. Okay. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's great here. I feel really at home and, and uh, both the people in the city and also the business people we're working with uh, thank you, Kansamida. Thank you so much for being kind to us. So this is pretty much it. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Kansamida. Thank you for having me. 네.